emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper with a video on digital messaging over high-frequency radio. And what we're doing differently here today than my other WinLink videos where I'm sending email over the Internet, I'm actually going to do a peer-to-peer -peer transfer of messages from Moscow, Russia to a ham radio station in Kabul, Afghanistan. And I've got a draft message set up here in the inbox on the PC. I got the radio tuned up on frequency. We got the SWR meter here, and of course the PTC2 USB packet modem. And over here on the desktop, I got a message already drafted, and it says this is a test message using RMS Express to send a text message from Moscow, Russia to Kabul, Afghanistan. This demonstrates how a message can be sent over long distance, even internationally, without the internet or any supporting commercial telecommunications infrastructure. So the operator down in Afghanistan, his name is Tim. And here on the screen, I have it here with the radio button set to peer-to-peer -peer message. And I'm going to go ahead and post that to the outbox. And we'll go over here and look in the outbox. And you'll see that message. And what I'm going to do here is bring up the connection session. Okay, I have the session window open up here, guys. And the station down in Afghanistan is going to go ahead and initiate a connection with my station here. And you should see the radio respond with the modems communicating with each other. And you can see the incoming connection now. So here what we see here guys are the two stations are communicating, they have a link. And they're going to start exchanging information of what's in the outboxes. And then we'll swap our messages. And just above the session window, you'll see these two messages in the outbox. One's addressed to another station. You'll actually, there's an incoming message. It's letting me know there's one there. So we're going to download that check message. And when I download that message, then I'll go ahead and upload my message to the station in Afghanistan. And that green status bar coming from left to right to left is actually the progress of the message being downloaded from the station in Afghanistan. And if you can hear the, through the speaker of the radio, the signal connection isn't that great. So it's weak propagation, but still demonstrating that this is a robust method of communications, even in less than ideal circumstances. And we almost have that message in. And then we'll switch roles and I'll actually send my message out. Now I got that message in, so I received that message. That'll be in my inbox and now you'll see the role switch and I'll start sending my message out to that station. And now we're sending. And the status bar now will show from left to right the progress of the message going out with the appropriate digital acknowledgments from the distance station's modem confirming whether the packets received are good and it can progress with the next batch. And you can see that progressing on the green status bar.
And then once this message completes, that station's modem will acknowledge receipt, and then the two modems will negotiate a disconnect and end the link. Okay, so now the message is received and it's buttoning up this connection and you'll see a disconnect request come through and the two modems will disconnect from each other. And there we have it, completed send of message. So the distance station now has that message and when we disconnect, I'll show you the inbox and you'll see that message I got in. And if you notice just above the connection window that the outbound message addressed to that station is no longer there because it's gone. It'll actually be in the sent items. And the two stations are disconnected. So let's go ahead and check the inbox. So here we have the inbox here. Hank, here's another test message for you. See attachment. So another capability with this application is you can actually send attachments with your email. So let's go ahead and open up the attachment here. And there we go. QTH Kabul and the standard old-fashioned teletype test. The quick brown fox jumps over to lazy dog's back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got an attachment and an email all sent over HF radio from Moscow to Kabul. And before I post this video, I'll look the d distances up in miles to give you some perspective. But this is a good demonstration of a capability you can add to your emergency communications plan and toolbox uh, in the event uh, you lose communications that are normally provided by a commercial source. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with high frequency radio data communications using peer-to-peer -peer connections.